My name's Kip Cooper. I'm a project lead for Becker, seconded into the Stronger Christchurch Infrastructure Rebuild Team, no, known as SKIRT. This journey starts back in January 2012. I'd moved my, my wife down to, to Christchurch with me to take part in the rebuild. Since the Canterbury earthquakes, my career has been the most challenging, yet rewarding, to date. I really had to focus my energy on on leading and delegating to the team as opposed to doing the work myself and that was actually something I found quite difficult to do at first. The team I led delivered 450 detailed design drawings and 10 design reports in nine months. We won project of the month twice in three months because of our commitment to delivery on time. Every single day I go into work and I am involved firsthand in a project that, that changes the face of Christchurch for the future. And for me, taking a leadership role feels right. And that's not just to develop an individual or develop a se successful team. It's to develop, build and secure the future of Christchurch. Uh, my name is Ben Henson and I'm Associate Building Services Engineer with Becker here in Auckland. Affectionately known as the Med School, the project was the $240 million upgrade of the Auckland Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences. The project would e essentially see the doubling of the net floor area. Essentially we were kind of being asked to rebuild Eden Park with a game in progress. The university demanded that on the, on the same floor, floor plates we'd put double the amount of students. About two years through the project, we are head down, bum up, focusing on all these labs, when the university said, we need a PC3 lab. There was a commitment to technical excellence. We looked at new innovation, new technology, and came up with some pretty cool things. The medical school has, <coughs> has gone on to win multiple awards, and now sits in the top 1% of medical facilities in the world. Okay, uh, welcome everyone. My name is Chris McGuire. I'm a project manager and water resource engineer in Christchurch. February 2011 happened. Everything changed. Everyone changed. A massive amount of lives were lost in this earthquake. Luckily there wasn't more. But it's also important to recognise that a lot of other people's lives depend on the engineering behind the things we don't see. The, in, the electricity supply, the water supply, the stormwater and the wastewater are the lifelines of a city. I got the opportunity to work um, in Skirt. The ethos of SKIRT was creating resilient infrastructure that gives people security and confidence in the future of Christchurch. And this is where Kip and I actually sit, is in this design delivery team, integrated services team. This is where I sat along with 20 other design organisations. I worked on Pressure Main 11, which was a pressure main that comes from Pump Station 11 all the way 3.6 kilometres to the Bromley Treatment Works. This was the very first project that came into SKIRT. The original pumps, the original pressure mains that went along this route, um, there was like two cast iron ones, they completely got buggered. And there was concrete ones, uh, the concrete ones fractured in multiple places along the route because they weren't resilient, they weren't designed resiliently. It takes 30% of Christchurch's wastewater, that's a hun approximately 120,000 people. But in fact, if pump station one goes out, it diverts to this catchment, so basically it can take most of Christchurch through this pressure main. This is one of the most important pressure mains in the city. The main point that I found working in Skirt was that you always have to ask questions. In this challenging situation where something is extremely different, ask questions. The only way you'll change something is to challenge it. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Mm -hmm.